Bitter ale is the everyday draft beer of the English working man. It's typically malty and full-bodied, with a color ranging from amber to a deep mahogany. You'll find it lives up to its name because the strong hopping often makes it extremely bitter. This quality, however, does vary from brewer to brewer, and you may find one that suits your palate. Many ales can have a, a bitter finish due to their hop, hop level. And um, when you say bitter, it's, it's true it's bitter, but it's balanced with malt sweetness. So it's not you're drinking something that is purely bitter. Just like in spare ribs, a sweet sour sauce isn't purely sour. It has the counterbalancing flavors that play with, against one another on the tongue, and it's very, uh, very entertaining. I like to say that I may be small, but I like to brew big beers, and this is one of them. And uh, the India Pale Ale, if you smell it, it smells like a bowl of flowers or fruit. It's a real garden of hops. And if you taste it, it's like a party in your mouth. It just has flavor that won't quit. One more thing while we're on the subject. From time to time, you may hear someone refer to a pale ale. Pale ale is really the bottled version of an English bitter ale. The only difference is that it has a higher degree of carbonation and sometimes a more defined malty quality. But pale in this case is an extremely relative term. Hey, that's a glass of beer. With a deep copper color, it's only pale in comparison to the dark brown porters and stouts you'll discover. So don't confuse this brew with a light beer. You'll find they have about as much in common as a steak and a hot dog.